More breaking news. The nation's auto workers are now on strike. The United Auto Workers Union hit the picket lines at midnight after negotiations for higher wages and job protections fell through. The three companies involved in the strike are GM, Ford and Chrysler owned Stellantis. Each offered the union double digit percent pay hikes, but that was not enough to meet their demands by the deadline. Currently, there are no auto plants in North Carolina, but drivers could still feel the impact from the strike. WRL's Kelsey Coffey joins us now live to explain. Kelsey. Renee, good morning. If you are looking to buy a new car or if you need to get your car fixed, this strike could certainly impact you. NC State supply chain expert Robert Hanfield says that higher car prices are going to be one of the immediate impacts of this strike. The longer these workers stay on strike, the higher the prices could become. And if you own a Jeep, Chevy, GMC or Ford, the next time you get your car serviced, some of the part shipments could be delayed. The last time something like this happened was back in 2019 when workers went on a one-month strike against General Motors. Hanfield says it's possible this strike could last two or three times longer than that. That would be really destructive. Um, and that could draw, you know, drive, uh, you know, a 10 to 15 percent drop in, in economic output. And what makes this strike such a big problem are the potential domino effects. So this could impact industries like the freight industry, uh, steel and aluminum foundries. And uh, the dealers, of course, would be impacted, too. So we'll keep you updated as we learn more about the strike. Kelsey Coffey, WRL News, live in Raleigh.